What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. What is up everyone? Today I have a slightly different video. I'm going to be showing you how to pretty much find, whether it be the name or the hex code of any color within a web page. And this tool has been really handy. I didn't know this tool actually existed, um, but it's been really handy personally because I always see um, these nice colors that I want to use, whether it be for my thumbnail or for a project that I might be working on. And, you know, it just takes forever to try to Google a specific color or I just can't get the exact color that I want. And so this tool is really, really neat. Uh, let me go and click on it real quick up here. So it's called eyedropper which is an appropriate name and you'll you'll notice it says it won't work on um this page it doesn't work on uh pretty much just chrome pages if that makes sense um it'll work on any website that you open up on chrome just not on like these chrome pages um and i'll show you what i mean in a bit but pretty much what you're getting out of this is all of this info for whatever color you click on. So these are some colors that I recently clicked on. So let me just click on one of them and you'll see, you'll get the six digit hex code um, and all these other ones that I personally don't use, but I know you can use these for uh, various things, whether it be a certain type of program that you use or a certain website. But regardless, it is a very helpful tool. And the fact that it does save recently used um, or recently picked out colors is also really nice because sometimes I'll put it into a project on Photoshop and then um, I forget to save or you know I change it and then I forget to change it back stuff like that so it's kind of nice you can save palettes but anyways let us get into how you get this specific uh, application so first off you're going to need Chrome um, I'm sure there's a way to do this on other type of uh, browsers, but I personally found this on Chrome and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on apps over here You're gonna click on web store and Then on the web store, you're gonna search eyedropper and Then I use this very first one and As you can see I already have it added but for those of you who don't have it on your browser yet You pretty much just click where it says remove from Chrome whatever it says there it should say like add to Chrome instead and of course, you can read about it on this little page if there's any information you want before getting it. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close these out. And I just have Reddit open here. And we're going to go ahead and click on the tool. You're going to click pick color from web page. And let's say that I want to find out what this exact color is right here um, that I'm hovering on for the try now. You'll see there's a little square kind of hovering as well. A square showing you exactly what color you're kind of hovering on. Um, the reason it's off to the side is so it's not occluding whatever your brow your um, cursor is on. And then if you see on the bottom right, it also gives you the six digit hex code and the RGB code uh, beforehand. But let's just go ahead and click on this. And you'll notice when I clicked on it, it didn't click on the link to the try now it just clicked on it to kind of save the fact that you're choosing that color so don't worry about clicking on certain buttons and stuff when you're using this um, it won't accidentally click through it so here we have the orange we've got all the information that i mentioned earlier and yeah that's pretty much how simple it is and you know you can get see you can see on this like brown wood right here there's so many different shades of brown and the fact that it has that little square is really nice because what you're doing is, is you can find the precise one without having to kind of guess if that's the exact color that you want. So like with that little square, you can see what color you're pretty much clicking on. So let's say I wanted this little darker shade of brown. Well, at least I know for sure I'm clicking on it because the square is showing me. And then here we have it. So I hope this video was helpful. You know, this is a free application. They do have a pro or plus version. Um, Personally, I don't need the plus version, but you know, for those of you who may need these additional features, it does have it. Um, but I think the eyedropper tool on its own works amazing and it really does suit my personal needs. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below and make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.